Hello, everyone. So, yep, I'm just going to go for it. This is going to be a new setting. I don't really care. I'm just going to make it live. Why not? This is how it is. It's raw. It's natural and it's delicious, isn't it? If you haven't subscribed, if you don't know, um, I'm Metaphysical Tarot, Michelle, and I'm, a, I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Um, I don't predict your future. However, if it happens, awesome. I love that. However, if you need to seek any kind of professional help, you should do so. And also keep in mind that this is a game. Tarot is a game. Spirit does communicate, can communicate to you through tarot. Um, this reading is going to be um, for my Aries. Why? Because that's the, the, the sign that came to mind. So I'm just going to jump right into it, all right? Let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to see what is it that you need to know right now. What is it that you should be thinking about right now at this time, Aries, all right? Let's see what is it that you should be thinking about. Let's ask Spirit. Jump right into it. Also, telepathically, if you want to let them know, you got luck on your side. Fantastic. I don't read cards in reverse, in reversal, but there's luck on your side. What's up? This is a major arcana. Good for you, man. Good for you. I love that. I love that. So you got some luck on your side. So basically, that's what Spirit wants you to know. <laughs> Or maybe there's been some kind of change of fate. Or maybe you've been experiencing tons of good luck. Damn, Aries, you get the world card too? All right, what is it that you need to be thinking about right now? Did something happen in the past that you should, that you want, that you're wanting to forgive? Or maybe not, in other words, like, is there something that, maybe there's been some kind of involvement in the past where Spirit just wants you to, it's just standing out to me in, in terms like, they want you to really think about like what you, what you reap, what you sow. So something happened to me in the past is what I'm picking up. And this is a card of, it could, it's, it's really interesting to me because this card, there's two major arcanas in here. You know, meaning these two cards are significant right now. And also there's all the elements, all the elements are on here. I know I, call, I know the reading is for Aries, but there may be, maybe you're dealing with all these elements in your life right now. Or what I'm picking up is, um, maybe um, you've already overcome all the karma and this is what you need to let go of. I know my nails, I painted it, just one different because it was chipped. <laughs> That's just for, for now, guys, for now. Alright, so this world card. This is basically just telling me right now that this is what you need to do. What you need to do right now is complete whatever it is you're working on. Whether, whether you need to let someone go from the past to, because you're thinking that's how, that's the only way that you're going to be able to clear that karma. If I'm thinking about all the elements, I'm thinking in terms of being receptive emotionally. I'm thinking in terms of your mental clarity intellectually. I'm thinking in terms of your inspiration, fire, creativity, um, determination. And I'm also thinking in terms of the conscious, your, consciously. What mix of sing of sig? Why can I never say this right? What mix of si of signal are you releasing right now, vibrationally? Where are you at, man? Where are you? Because spirit needs to know. They they're dying to know. They're aware. All right. So next question: What is your challenge right now, Aries? What could your challenge possibly be? Let me know in the comments below, guys. It really helps my channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And hit the notification button because I'm always live. So let's see what's going on in regards to this challenge of yours. This challenge of yours. This challenge of yours. This challenge of yours. So basically, there's a change. Change of fate in your life. And what you need to know is that you need to let go of something. You need to accomplish something. Spirit wants you to know there's something for you to accomplish. And that challenge for you right now, Aries. And I'm going to clarify these bad boys with another deck of mine. Ooh. Interesting. So basically your challenge is either you're collaborating with people, or you're trying to come into a trinity with someone, or basically you're trying to, to you're expanding someone, like you're, collabor you're collaborating with someone. And that's what, that's what your challenge could be, maybe emotionally, maybe you need to work, check your emotions. Or, if it's the number three, maybe we're talking about a connection, a love for someone, or just your feelings, okay? Think about how you're feeling right now. How does that resonate for you at this time? Come on, how does it resonate? 
All right. Uh, now, what is your secret weapon? What could help? What could help Aries right now? What could help Aries right now? I'm outside. Ooh, what can help you right now is that you're resourceful. Okay, this is the Empress. Connect that mind and body right now at this time, okay? You got resources. Um, there's uh, tons of creativity involved as well. Also, just keep in mind that these are significant cards. You got three major arcanas on here, okay? Either this is a big theme in your life right now. Maybe this is just like a, a an overall message that they want you to see right now. It's quite significant and, you know... I feel. Um, what else? But yeah, that's. Let me see. Let's clarify these bad boys. All right, I want to clarify the the wheel card. What's up with this change, and why? Whoa, another major arcana. So okay. In clarification to this card, there's something that's telling me that you want to receive. See, you you're trying to receive. So what they're wanting for you, what you need to think about right now is where, what are you trying to receive? Like what, why do you want good luck? Where is this, what, what direction do you want to point that good luck? Okay, because there's change, there's there's fate involved, and there's victory. You got the triumph card, you got the, the, the you got the chariot card, that's the card of direction, Aries. It's actually your energy. All right, whoa. So now we're clarifying this wheel card. And now we're talking about emotions. You got fulfillment, two wishes. This is at number nine. Fantastic. This is this card is just telling me that there's happiness and your wishes are coming true. So what you need to do right now is whatever you wanna, whatever you needed to let go in the past, whatever you wanted to to come into, whatever it is that you need to accomplish right now. You're fulfilled. You're, it's time. It's it's time to do that right now because your wishes are gonna come true. Okay. There's happiness involved. All right, now I want to clarify this three of cups. Three of cups in regards to your challenge, in regards to your challenge emotionally. Sorry, my hair is all over my face. So you got the eight of pentacles. That's red. This is material force, passion. Maybe there's an impulse. But what you need to know right now, what your challenge is based okay, I'm getting it now. Your challenge is either you you need to focus on your emotions towards collaborating with someone. You need to think positive. Okay, remember we said that? Maybe it's there's something in regards to your emotions. Maybe you need to think in terms of your relationships. Who are the relationships around that are surrounding you right now? Start cutting start to cut some emotional cords off, perhaps. Because spirit is letting you know there's some positive movement forward coming in. Sorry, I have a camera right here. <laughs> There's some positive movement forward coming in for you, okay? So look forward to that. This is at number eight. There's power, okay? And to organize yourself, but this is the card of materialism. You know, it's exactly what it's what the card reads. So now what your secret weapon is, the Empress. You already know you need to connect yourself with your body, your mind. But now we're talking about that solar plexus, okay? This is that affirmation of I can, okay? This is talking about your willpower, your ambition, your creativity, okay? Think about that. Yellow. Think about um, think about what's, uh, what consciously, what are you thinking about right now? Self-expression, okay? Communication. Also, another thing that I wanted to that's standing out to me is that there's a lot of yellow here there's a ton of yellow so maybe you're seeing you can see yourself as powerless maybe you've been kind of like struggling lately but this is okay this is spirit telling you to connect to that body and the soul because this is your secret weapon your intuition i'm not sure if you're a mother maybe your parent that's your secret weapon you have intuition already you got this something's gonna there's abundance in here good for you so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the reading off with um, a soul lesson card, okay? This is for Aries, for Aries. Also, let me know if this resonates with you, okay? So we got the discipline card for you, Aries. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yep. 
That's exactly right. With that nine of cups. Hey, solar plexus, communication, having the ability to do so. You got this. All right, Aries, this is what I have for you. Love and light to you. Let me know in the comments below if this helped. And take care, okay? Thank you. Bye.